Hello everybody. Um, so today I thought that I would share a recipe with you. Um, for Christmas I got a spiralizer and so I've tweaked one of the recipes from my Inspiralized book which is really really good and hopefully make some relaxing sounds for you all. Um, basically I do feel like the traffic outside will affect my recording but unfortunately I live in student accommodation next to a road and there's nothing I can really do about that so I'm hoping it will add to your ASMR experience rather than hinder it. So I've already washed my hands I have a pan of rapeseed oil on the hob because, again, I'm in student accommodation and the hob literally takes an age to heat up. So I have to put that on before I even start thinking about cooking anything. So today I will begin by cutting the tomatoes. So I've tripped this recipe so it is cheap um, because obviously I am a student um, and you need 125 grams of cherry tomatoes as I counted earlier that equates to 7 tomatoes I did weigh um, the tomatoes over and counted them. So that number didn't just come from the top of my head. So I'm going to chop these, or slice them rather, into quarters. Plastic bowl. I'd never actually really thought of doing cooking SMRs till one of my roommates actually sits and watches me cook as I've been trying to kind of eat more healthy and look at what I'm eating for my body and um, she literally just comes and watches me. So I thought that instead of doing a food blog, I could actually do some videos for you guys as well. As two things I like are ASMR videos, which I watch every day, and healthy eating, which I also do every day. Kind of, as I have problem with treats, <laughs> particularly with my big essay coming up soon. Well, it's a big research project, so I end up going straight for the snack cupboard. many juices out because I used my friends and it was basically just a lot better and safer. So I definitely need to invest in some new knives. Next of all I am going to cut my garlic and mince it and what I have here 
is an amazing device I got from the cake and bake show with my friends and um, it was £10 which includes a peeler for the garlic which I unfortunately cannot find at the moment and a brush which reminds me of being in nursery so I find it really cute um, so here is the garlic and um, basically I'll show you what you do. So you chop either end of the garlic, in careful of fingers, obviously. See, if I had that peeler, it would have come up by now. find as well if you cut the other end of the garlic off it comes off straight away. Anyway so what you do is you wrap it on a flat surface and then you basically with it a couple of times one way and a couple of times the other and you carry on with the washing. As you can see is mincing the garlic for me. Just sometimes end up with clunky bits, so I sometimes just give it a quick chop on the rice. Not necessary. Just because I like it's best not. And then what you do you, when I come to put it in the pan, you basically just get, use the brush to get all the little bits. Out of the dish. And there you have it. Quickly minced garlic. I was so excited to get this because one of the things that put me off cooking was actually chopping onions and mincing and cutting garlic because I'm really slow at things um, and if you're in a hurry it's not ideal so for Christmas I asked all these my parents for was a sliced onion chopper or something to cut onions for me and this and and I actually found this at the Cake and Bake show, which I was really thrilled with. So, um, but yeah, I basically have a, a horde of devices because I just find it makes cooking fun and quicker and the time it takes to wash them up, I find a lot quicker than actually just doing it myself. So there you go. Plus, it means I'm less of a hazard in the kitchen. thing on my list is to grate the pan. Now for this recipe I need three tablespoons full, so I'm hoping that I have enough here. I don't have masses left. I seem to have an addiction also to parmesan cheese.
edit the palms I'm cutting out because even though I know nothing about editing <laughs> because it may be too loud so apologies if I have had to do that I think that is enough because actually instead of putting it in the recipe I'm gonna put it on top and that for me is more than enough and one portion It. On another day, I can simply add and grate my palms and cheese. Okay, so now we come to the fun element of the video, and I'm going to spiralise the courgettes. So I'm going to move this to one side. move across. Unfortunately I got this for Christmas and because I use it so much, literally every day, the actual handle has come off. But it's still works. Instead of using pasta, I'm going to be using courgettes. These are just ones from, oh wait, I might not be able to say, from a shop, convenience and all. And um, so, let's get crack on looking. on a side view angle so you can see how it works but hopefully this will be okay for now. You learn every time you do it. it makes cheap food seem more interesting as if I was to serve this meal with just round courgettes no <laughs> not for me whereas if it's pasta kudos hashtag winning
So now I have my pasta and tomatoes ready to go in the pan. So I'm going to what smells nice? Uh, pop these in and season with some black pepper, some black pepper and some sea salt. The pan has been heated up and I'm going to add my garlic puree to the dish. And grab a utensil. So much stuff there. Yeah. Okay. As you can, as you can see here, I have my pan on the hob, and I have just added my garlic puree from the dish. I'm just going to let that sizzle away a little bit before adding my courgettes and tomatoes, which looks very colourful indeed. Might add that now actually. And I'm going to season this dish with um, salt and black pepper. So the black pepper is here. And I'm just using organic ground pe black pepper that was quite a lot ever <laughs> fine and some Himalayan pink salt which I might not manage 100 oh there we go So I'm going to give that a stir and basically all you do after that is let it cook for 8 to 12 minutes or 7 to 12 sorry on a medium setting. I think I need to let my pan get a little warmer and then you add the grated parmesan on top um, and you can even add a little bit of lemon juice. And that is it. So I'm going to finish for tonight, enjoy my tea and hopefully you have a good night, restful sleep or afternoon nap or whenever you watch ASMRs.